All candidates participating in the forum were asked the same questions and were given the same amount of time to respond. This video was filmed by QAC TV and the questions were selected by editor Angela Price from Reader Suggestions. I'm Nicole Romeo reporting for the Bay Times and Record Observer. I'm here with Dave Olds, who is an incumbent commissioner for District 4 and also a Republican. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me here. Glad to be here and thanks for the opportunity. In two minutes or less, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you would like to continue being a commissioner. Okay. The reason I would like to continue to be a commissioner, it's taken me about two years to learn how to be a commissioner. And uh, I feel that our conservative approach to our budget and stuff has paid off for us and I'm looking to do more of that in the future. Thank you. In two minutes or less, explain what you believe are the biggest issues facing the county. Uh, many issues, but the, the two biggest would probably be uh, the Four Seasons, for my, for my area, Four Seasons and the uh, uh, Sur down Route 8. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the proposed Four Seasons development? I'm for it. It's a win-win for the county. Uh, we're talking $7 million in the coffer, and as you know that we have a contingency in this county that is really anti-growth and stuff, but they're really hurting the county, and I hope we can get by that and come up with an agreement with them. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the public sewer for Southern Kent Islands? Well, I, it's, it's a health hazard. The state has said it's a health hazard. I have been against it, and uh, the, my biggest reason for being against it now is, and I'm not so much against it, but I'm, I'm worried about property rights. I'm a property rights guy, and if we can solve that problem and stuff, I'm, I may change my mind, I don't know, but as of right now, uh, for instance, uh, uh, Tower Gardens, why, why are we starting there? I think we, we've got we've to modify that and start at the top and come down instead of coming from the bottom up. It just doesn't make sense to me. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on a public pool for the county and the YMCA project? Well, the YMCA project, I don't believe in, I don't believe in taking taxpayers' money to fund a 501, I think it's 501C, I think, or to fund them and then to charge the taxpayers back to come to their facility. So I'm not in, I'm not in favor of the YMCA. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the new parking permit required to access public beaches at county parks, commonly being called the beach permit? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's a, it, I have granddaughters that ride that trail and I'm tired of them coming back and saying, Pop, it's some pervert out there making fun of my kazoo going down the road on the bicycle. That sort of stuff's bad and, and we've got to get a hold of it. Will that be the answer to it? I don't know. Am I really sold on, on that? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, people do have a complaint about it, but then again, if you have people that don't want growth and we don't have the money coming in, where do we get the money? And as you know, the taxpayers speak, so I, I understand both sides of it. Thank you. In one minute or less, please describe your plan for achieving the county's stated goals of controlling growth while promoting economic development. Well, I don't know if it's the county's plan to uh, control growth, I mean to extend growth. I think it's, it's the what we have to do is have, and smart growth is a smart thing. I mean, I'm not against that. And it's, you know, it's, we're seeing it with like four seasons. They don't affect, they don't affect the schools and stuff. It's a, it's a win-win all the way around. But yet we had a referendum here a couple of years ago uh, on the big boxes. We, if we don't get those things in, it, this county's going to be like Kent County. It's dying. The schools, they're, they're talking about closing schools up there now. They spent all that money for schools and now you know, because of the same principle that this county is trying to take or the people are trying to take this county too. Thank you. Finally, in one minute or less, would you like to revisit any of these issues we've discussed or add anything we've missed talking about? No, I'm, I'm, I'm good on my responses and uh, I, uh, I think our current commissioners, I, I know we're going to lose one of them because he's for monetary reasons, but uh, I think that we've done a good job and uh, I hope we can continue to do that. If we pick up a few, or pick, don't pick up a few, it's going to change. I may not be there. Uh, if I if I win, I'll be the first Republican to ever win re-election. It goes for any of the Republicans in there, and I think that maybe we've shown good leadership and stewardship that uh, they'll put us back in there. Thank you, and thank you for participating in our forum. Okay, thank you. To watch other candidates who have appeared in the series. 
please go to either the QIC TV YouTube channel or visit myeasternshoremd.com. Thank you for watching.